Yeah, the buildup has been a bit different because we had a different training program than before with the coaching change from P. Corfield to Jake Riley. Um, then going into the first meet, the first two were very relaxed. Um, we ran the second one as a workout, just trying to see how the Parkside course is for everybody so everybody knows what it's like going into this weekend. Um, the next race was in Indiana. We got to run on the regional course, so that will help us for two weeks from now. And then going into the big caliber meets at Loyola, where there's at least 40 teams, and going into Bradley, where we had some different conditions where it was snowing and raining and cold, but also that big number of like 37 teams, at least five or six of them being in our conference. Yeah, it's been, it's been good. I mean, with the coaching change, haven't really experienced too much of it. We had Jake before and after. Um, it's been good, yeah, six, six freshmen, and um, Corey stepped up as an underclassman. He was a sophomore, yeah. It's been running really well. Um, yeah, it's been a good blend of upperclassmen and underclassmen, and I feel like we're looking pretty good. It's a big confidence booster comparing it to how we were in the past and seeing how deep our team is. I mean, at Bradley, we had our top seven or eight were under 23 minutes, which has never happened before. Um, our spread from if you take out our number one runner, our spread is like 30 seconds. So to know that we have that much depth helps because if somebody's having an off day, we know that we can have a six, seven or eight runner to come pick them up. I mean, I guess I'd say Corey running like 25, like oh something at Loyola. And we had, I think seven guys all under 26 there as well. Um, had two freshmen under 26, which is really solid for them. Um, yeah, I'd say Loyola really. Yeah, and I mean, even Bradley, we were 40 points from Marquette, which is, and we didn't even, we didn't have Alex Cotter either. He was sick, so. Yeah, I would say running on the course before is definitely a confidence booster. I know a lot of our recruits are from Southeast Wisconsin um, or from Northern Illinois. So everybody has had a chance to run on the course at least once on our team. Um, me personally, like I said before, I've run on it 19 times um, come this weekend. Um, so knowing exactly where the turns are, where the hills are, where the pain is going to hurt the most in the race is very important and we can utilize that to our advantage this weekend. It's really cool to basically lead these people um, trying to get our first conference title ever in the Horizon League um, this weekend. And yeah, it means a lot to try and just lead into that. So we want to just be controlled, confident, and be relaxed and push each other the most. That's the nice thing about having that depth, is that we can be there for each other and push each other on this course. Like I said before, we know the turns, we know the hills. So as long as we know that our teammates are there too, trust the process and trust our coach, good things can happen.